Now, a few words on performance. Usually I haven't now, usually I don't talk too much about performance, but it's about time that I said a few words about performance. Now, when I'm playing these chords, my main focus is on playing all the notes of the voicing at the exact same time. And really, all of my brain focus is on just placing that chord every note hitting at the exact same time and sometimes I don't get it spot on and some of the notes are like fractions of a, sec a second off and I always get annoyed when that's the case but the goal is to try and play every single note in the voicing at exactly the same time Now, how do I do that? Well, so first of all, I'll hold the previous chord down with the pedal. Then I'll go to the next chord, and I'll spend a good half second lining up my fingers on the voicing, and I'll make sure they all have pressure and they're all ready to play. Once I've found that voicing, I'll focus on just placing that chord all together my hand will be kind of tense, ready to play that, that chord. And then when the time comes, see I didn't quite get it right there, I'll try to just use my arm to just place that chord, but really I'm keeping my hand quite tense and just in that position. Really, that is what takes up most of my focus because I think that's how you really sound like a professional is if you can place your chords at exactly the same time. Every note is perfectly at the same split second. Because sometimes I hear players who, who get it slightly off. It's hard to do when you've been practicing it the right way, but you know they'll. That's the thing. Well, I guess I've been ingraining it the right way, but they'll. You know, if you can hear with that chord, it's not quite together, and that's always a giveaway that someone of someone's ability. Um, but it shouldn't be too hard to play them in sync. I'm just saying that that is what takes up all of my, most of my brain focus. It's trying to play each note at the same time. Now, another thing I'd like to say about performance is that I tend to play quite quietly. Especially compared to most pianists. And uh, I was thinking about this before I started filming, why this is. And I think what it is, is that I, I like to focus on the voicings themselves. And if you have a sophisticated sounding chord progression where all the voicings are spot on, I don't think you need to play loudly. I think it's actually quite cool to play it as quietly as possible. Um, and I was thinking about this. It's kind of like people who have nothing to say can sometimes play loudly and maybe that can distract from the fact that they don't actually have much to say. Um, whereas if you do have something interesting to say with your chord voicings, then you don't have to shout that out. It should be interesting enough. Um, even if you just play it really quietly. I think if the notes are there, the sophistication is there in the voicing, then you should be able to play as quietly as you like and people will still be interested.
Now that said, I do find myself accenting the note, the chords that I've added to the progression. So, so generally the standard 12 bar blues chords, which are in the progression, I'm playing those chords quietly, but then the passing chords, which I've added to the chord progression, I'm playing louder. So I'm sort of drawing attention to them. I'm Julian Brady. thank you very much for watching. You can download the sheet music and mp3 backing track for Blue Lotus at jazzherobooks.com. I make all educational videos for free, but I have to charge for some items in order to fund the making of future videos. So thank you for your purchase, which directly supports the making of future jazz tutorials, which will always remain free. So head on over to jazzherobooks.com or simply click on the link in the description box below and I hope you enjoy playing Blue Lotus just as much as I do. Thank you again for watching, have a great Christmas and I'll see you again soon.